Vestro very kindly uh, invited me to come along to the uh, wonderful uh, K-Fair and experience it in its entirety. Um, and I'm currently involved with a range of other students at the Design Makeathon, uh, coming up with kind of cool concepts and thinking about the design process as a whole. And that's been quite interesting to see how in other countries design is utilised and how, how ideas are brought together to reality. So really interesting, yeah. Design Innovation in Plastics is a national competition in the UK. Um, it's where students come together and they all have to design a product, which goes forward, obviously. Um, I actually won that competition, which is pretty exciting. Um, I designed, it was, the brief was um, a product for pets wellbeing, and I designed something which, uh, it's a quick release buckle, which means that it's for horses, and it reduces the likelihood of rug damage, and it also hopefully it means that horses won't hurt themselves or become injured so yeah it's all about the well-being um, because of winning that competition i've now gone on to getting a patent for it and getting a trademark for it for my product and i'm hopefully taking it to market i'm just at the moment trying to work out the final uh, material that i'm going to choose it's quite difficult because i don't quite know enough but it's good being here you can get lots of inspiration well the brief we got given was quite a broad one it was just to redesign an existing stainless steel product uh, using any kind of polymer so had to kind of work really hard to find a niche product that no one would have kind of done so I ended up uh, redesigning the internal gear for an ice cream machine so a complete redesign of a liquid gear pump so by using um, various polymers I was able to introduce a variety of uh, advantages that you wouldn't normally get with stainless steel such as uh, self-lubricating, uh, antibacterial, uh, reduction of parts, cheaper manufacture, all kinds of things like that um, and from then on with the competition and, and the press it's had, I've, I've managed to get um, IP rights on it as well. Um, and I'm in talks with manufacturers now to try and get it on the market. I don't know where the world is going. I mean, even from what I can see today, it's, it's impressive. And I think there's so many opportunities and so many ways it can go. But I think for young designers, you really need to believe in yourself. And you need to think that this is really scary being here. There's some people that are so clever. But, you know, we may become that one day and you have to really push the boundaries, like Kvesto keeps saying, and really just go for it and believe in yourself and be someone that can be innovative.